Fraser K, formerly known as FaZe K, recently responded to the tweet that FaZe Clan made a couple days ago. Let's check it out. K, I did not mean to do you so bad with that pause, bro. My, my bad. The reason I'm making this video is because I thought I was crazy at the time, but Mr. Beast just proved that I wasn't. I was in FaZe for such a long time and this is a situation that is right now evolving if you feel like my opinion isn't worth anything that is fine you can just not watch this so two days ago phase tweeted this we've known for too long that we haven't been the phase we need to be we're trying to fix that we're going to get all the ogs to sit back down together that tweet was so corporate it fix itself we're not going to let you down basically that's what they said it's funny how it's taken everybody coming out mm -hmm. for them to say this but then the one and only mr beast replies to phase saying they should be the people in charge when I visited, not a single person I met had any idea how Bro, to make a Bro, that good tweet piece of tripped me the hell out. I was like, yo, Jimmy spazzing on him. And this is crazy. Cause because Jimmy because originally, day, Mr. Beast originally started making FaZe Clan videos. Like Mr. Beast visited the FaZe warehouse. I was also there. And I completely agree with what he's saying. Nobody there had a clue what was going on. It was very disorganized and just disjointed. But some kid came back at Mr. Beast saying, Basically, you're wrong. That's content Twitter. Content isn't everything. They need corporate and they need content. Which Mr. Beast replied to, what is the brand without content? A logo Bozo. a laughing emoji. Mr. Beast is speaking facts here. The only reason I'm even filming this video is because I've thought for the last year almost now that I was going crazy. And Mr. Beast has just proven that I wasn't. Like I said, this was a few months ago. I was actually there the same day Mr. Beast came a few hours before talking to FaZe Clan, basically saying to them, you know, like, I'm down to come and work behind the scenes. No one would even know I'm working for FaZe. And I would end that would up be sick. making their content. I was essentially asking them if they needed help making their videos, which everybody can see they clearly did. Oof. And despite everything that's happened between FaZe and I, I genuinely cared. and actually still do care a lot about this brand man yep. a lot and guys i'm not claiming to be anywhere near anywhere near mr beast level of creativity smartness what that what that man can do nowhere near but i worked and lived phase if you guys don't know when Fa when phase k first went to los angeles he was rice gum's assistant he started out just being an assistant for rice gum and helping out around the cloud house and they eventually extended their hand to let let him live there he wasn't supposed to i made videos for them and but he worked his ass off much better understanding than the corporate people who have never been a YouTuber, but from the conversations I had with the people in the positions of power, they truly believed that content wasn't the most important thing and that the FaZe logo- I'll try not to pause power. as much. This is literally like Nike, Nike thinking, oh, we, we're never gonna sell Jordans. We're never gonna sell shoes. Um, we're just gonna stay, stay this valuable, stay this relevant. Yeah. You, know, you ain't. The roots of FaZe are its content and its people. And the brand is worthless without this. When I told the people in FaZe who have power that content, short form content nowadays is the most important thing. Number one. As well as your long form content. Don't get me wrong. But they, they, they didn't agree. This is what they said. I'm trying to get it word for word. It was something like, FaZe has been winning this race for so long that at some point as a business, you need to evolve and become the racetrack. They literally are that what? egotistical. And it was obvious to me that they were just putting all of the money that should be going into content into these top people salaries. The money, which everybody can see online, that these people make is disgusting. All of that money should be going into the content. Like I have said for they years. They don't care, bro. Imagine having one of these CEO salaries, a million Hopefully dollars now a they year do. plus to put into content. Are you not? Do you know how much FaZe could do with that? So that didn't work out with me and them. And now look at it. It is a shambles. Not saying I'm, I'm the reason it could have been good, but I was there and down to help get in the trenches and work all hours of the day. And he's not capping, guys. required to make the best videos possible for the FaZe fans. And unfortunately, this has been a trend for so long. Even when I was in FaZe, the money that they were willing to spend on the FaZe house was minimal fractional in comparison to what these dudes are just pocketing and it's taking ridiculous, home. and i know bro. norden has spoken about what i'm talking here a lot he probably goes into much better and more detail than i care to go into so please listen to him i know now since tico's posted his video he's getting a lot more positive comments at the start i did see some wary people fair enough it's a very bold thing to come out and say which he did and now everybody sees that he is telling the absolute honest truth i think it's pretty obvious that phase going public absolutely killed off any of the old phase that was even somehow left and in my opinion i could be wrong and i 
kind of hope I'm wrong, but I think getting all the OGs back together isn't gonna work. And it honestly might be worth a shot, but everyone's got their own lives now. I genuinely hope from the bottom of my heart that there is a solution for FaZe. But I don't think that's it. Because regardless, the OGs are gonna come into our room and still be controlled by the people that own it. If somehow magically Mr. Beast can come and step in, oh and my Faze, God. whatever it's worth now, fire all of the top level people and 80% of the staff, maybe, maybe. That would be crazy. Be genuinely, I think that 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 is a solution. But this solution you see online is just the corporate talking. That is it. Anyway, I've said what I have to say. Good luck to everybody. Like I've said a lot of times, I have the deepest love for Faze. Up, baby. Still, man. But I'm off. I've actually got a bit of training to go do now. And uh, I'll see up. you guys in a nah, bit. Nah, guys, listen. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I peep that you guys like these, these sort of videos. So I'm going to keep pumping them out. I'm going to keep throwing these up as much as I possibly can. Reacting to this whole situation. Because I personally feel super, super strongly about this entire situation. I grew up with this brand. Uh, I watched this brand, you know, since 2014. So, you know, I feel like my opinion genuinely does matter along with the opinions of many others that are behind the screen as well. And hopefully, like, as a community, we can all get phased to, you know, make that change that we've all wanted to see. But like Kay was saying, they need a drastic change. And personally, I don't know if they can do it. I just, I have faith. I have hope. But I don't know if they can do it. A lot more reworking, a lot more structuring behind the scenes in order to pull it off. And pretty much, they're just gonna have to just do a whole new revamp and fire a lot of people a lot of those black ties do not deserve to be there look at the end of the day k was reacting to what mr beast said and mr beast he is very like he has a crazy structure and i think he has over 200 something employees so the guy knows what he's talking about he knows how to treat his employees right and therefore benefits from the rewards of you know his employees editing and working and just going crazy on his channel his employees and his whole system on his his channel is just ridiculous and crazy and honestly i think that would be insane if somehow mr beast bought the company that would be crazy but guys i really appreciate you guys for watching the video and definitely stay tuned for more of these videos and just more videos on the channel in general if you could drop a sub on the channel i'd appreciate it i love you all peace